It is a beautiful morning. It's July 25th around 1030 in the morning and it is about 68 degrees. So I just want to show you this little garden. It has taken off like a rocket and if you've been watching my videos you know that this is just a little garden I put together. Um, gosh it's probably been about six weeks now. Um, and I'll include a link to that video where I put this garden together in two weekends. And then I'll also include a link to my last tour, which I think was about three weeks ago. And you can kind of compare the difference. It is just a jungle now. So I love it. And so I just want to show you uh, some of the things, how they're doing, how everything's growing. Um, I don't, I haven't been here since my last tour. So that gives you an idea. I've neglected this, obviously, because I haven't been here. So this is how the garden's doing without any attention from me. I will say that it has rained a lot. It has rained so much, but um, and that's one of the reasons why I think that it's doing so well. Um, plus, the soil mix does hold in a lot of moisture without, um, it doesn't have to be watered constantly. So, um, it retains a lot of moisture even when it has not been raining. Okay, anyway, look at the basil. I need to cut that today. Hopefully, you can see it. It's in the shade a little bit. Um, it's looking great. Um, I want to go ahead and just cut it all back today and use some of that in some dishes. And then the greasy beans are climbing right up the little chain link fence just as I hoped they would. I have, uh, this is the Thai sweet basil and I think it'll get some more sun here very soon when I cut back the other basil. Dill is doing great and there's a little piece of crabgrass in there. <laughs> this is the Thai hairy lemon basil. So that's kind of going to be fun. I haven't grown that before as I mentioned. And cilantro is coming up nicely. Um, some more basil from seed. This one here I'm growing from, that was a store purchase, you know at the grocery store. That's what that one's from. And this is obviously from seed. And then the nasturtiums are doing very nicely. This is a serrano pepper and I've got, I picked one yesterday and there's another one on there, a couple more. So it's starting to do well. Um, I would have liked to have seen it doing better so by this time. And then chives are doing great. Been using a lot of those. Greasy beans again all along the chain link fence. Carrots, I think these are carnival blend carrots. And then my green onions are coming up. So I was real happy about that. I didn't know how they would do. I thought they might burn up in the sun, but they're doing great. Um, these are the Asian wing tipped. I think that's what you call them, Asian wing bean. And they're yellow and not looking too healthy, but oh well, we'll see how they do. Um, and I think I'll put a couple of cucumber seeds over here. So I don't know that those will produce a cucumber before the first frost, but Oh well, I'm just playing around over here, it's having fun. And then I harvested some French breakfast radishes out of there the last time I was here. And then there's crabgrass obviously coming up everywhere. And then this is the amaranth. Something is really enjoying eating that. Take a look. I don't know what's on there, probably worms or something. If I really got in there and started looking, I could tell you. Well, there's a beetle right there. Maybe that's the culprit. <laughs> They don't seem to bother this amaranth too much. This is molten fire. And then that one's the elephant head. And then pink tip all along here. Fr uh, French tarragon. Really doing well. I was, had snipped away on that so much the last time I was here. I was hoping it would recover well and it did. It loved being cut on. So it's popped, out, popped back really well. And then I think I pointed out in my last video um, the black flea beetle have been attacking these little French breakfast radishes and so I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these today and they're doing they're really big probably bigger than I would prefer but I don't really eat a lot of radishes I've never been a radish lover but I've been sauteing those and I found that's how I can eat radishes and that's how I like them okay more nasturtiums here can't wait for a little blooms to start popping out on those and then the uh, rosemary that was also a grocery store um, plant that I bought. More French breakfast radishes. I'll go ahead and pull those out today. Thyme, another grocery store little um, plant there. The um, golden variegated sage, looking really, really pretty. Okay, and this is a Kosovo tomato. And you'll notice what, right down in there, right there is a nice little tomato. 
and so this seems to be doing okay not as well as the ones in my other garden I don't see as many blooms on here but that's okay I just didn't have anywhere else to put it so I popped it over here and then the calendula I need to cut off the dead heads on there and um, so it will encourage more blooms and then of course the hyssop looks pretty lemongrass loves that little spot and this is some more amaranth and same thing as eating it that is eating the other amaranth and that is a butternut squash back there don't think that's going to do much but look at the spinach wow unbelievable i had no idea that i would get this much spinach so today i'm going to clean it up a little bit get some of the yellowing leaves out of there and then I'm going to go back and have a nice big harvest of spinach. And I might just saute that. I can't decide if I'm going to do a salad or I'm going to saute it. But I know fish is on the menu today, so i got to give that some thought. And then the garbanzo beans right there, looking pretty good. And then, of course, the jade bush beans. Now, this bed is only about four inches of soil, maybe less, because I kind of ran out of soil when I got to this bed. So I'm um, pleased to see... That these beans right here are doing so well over here and I thought I'd lost my kale but it seems to be doing okay something's attacking it as well whatever is eating the amaranth is also eating the kale so if I spray with something maybe I can get rid of whatever it is so all right so here are the sunflowers in the middle of the um, little garden here look how big they are now huge all right and then a little echinacea the little cone flowers are looking really pretty and then some mint right back there it's uh, starting to bloom and that was what I um, uh, propagated from my mint drying video all right so there's the little square foot garden if you don't have one maybe this will inspire you to give it a shot too all righty thanks so much for watching